Join us this month for our March to Infinity War. Things are getting serious. Hey everybody, welcome to another Double Down review in our March to Infinity War series. Today we're looking at Hot Toys Captain America from Age of Ultron. There he is, the Cap. The man, the myth, the legend. So the packaging, just his usual red, white, and blue motif with Captain America on the front with the shield. Inside, window to the figure cradle where the accessories would be around him. With a little shield decoration on the back. Pretty standard fare for Hot Toys figures. Always nice packaging, something to look at. Onto the figure, uh, not much for accessories. A couple of hands, which will pop out here. Uh, empty helmet so you can hold it or set it on the stand next to him when he's got the head sculpt on and then an alternate head sculpt with the helmet on and an actual metal shield that is magnetic to his harness on the back magnetizes on here i also believe ugh, it's a strong magnet it is there is a magnet on his forearm here so when you put the shield on there he holds it with the magnet which is also in the movie, where he can like call the shield to his arm. Awesome feature, actually. I did not Just know that. It snaps on like that. Yeah, that is... That's really awesome. Yeah. And the whole shield is metal, isn't it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Heavy-duty shield. Uh, good likeness of Chris Evans as Captain America. Um, this, I think the Avengers 1 figure didn't come with an alternate head sculpt. It's just the masked head sculpt. Yep. Yeah. And the I had the first Avenger, Captain America one captain, and he also didn't come with an alternate sculpt. Did any of the other ones come with unmasked sculpts? You had the Winter Soldier one in the stealth suit. I think he did come with another head sculpt that looked like that one, I'm pretty sure. If I'm thinking of the same one. And then uh Yeah, then just like a Another traditional Captain America head sculpt. Yeah. It, for but this one has a bigger body. This one's entire upper body. Yeah. It's almost like redone. A padded body up here or something to make the shoulders and chest bigger. To get that Chris Evans Dorito shape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for articulation, he has a little ankle rocker in there. It's actually like an actual boot cover that like straps underneath the shoe here. So the ankle is separate from the boot piece. And then twist at the top of the boot. Knee cut. For those running poses. Thigh swivel. Uh, leg joints restricted by the suit. It's about that far. Uh, the upper body is pretty solid. Probably because of whatever padding they have in here for this chest. It's about that far. It's about all you get. Uh, arms up and down, shoulder joints, wrist twists here, and they pop off at the top of the glove. Um, oh, so it's a whole it's a whole glove yeah. sculpt. Yeah, kind of like, the, like the, the Vader gloves. It's like an entire glove you put on, and then the head pops off at like the neck joint to pop in the helmeted sculpt. Mm. Fine articulation for some cool poses, but restricted in the leg movement. But his cap. You just stand him up with the shield and he looks stoic. Ready to lead a battle. Uh, sweet. Yeah, march right into Germany. <laughs> uh, good detailing on the costume. All the little stitch lines and the pieces uh, that all come together on the chest. The shoulder pads. All of the different colors and materials on here. Like He's kind of got that like padded ab area where the red and white stripes are. The belts and the straps on his shoulders are like leather work, uh, actual like elbow pads, knee pads. It's a cool figure. I, I uh, really head sculpt too. ended up selling my first Avenger Captain America to trade up for this one. I, I just wanted one that uh, had a head sculpt with it instead of the just the masked face. You guys, yeah, they did a really good job with the, uh, the head sculpt, though. Looks just like Chris Evans. Mm-hmm. He's got the, the Dumbo ears and everything. 
Speaking of Chris Evans, let's measure him. Cap comes in at about 12 and a half inches. Dang. I'm measuring in inches? I'm measuring in inches. <laughs> <laughs> 12 and a half inches. Language. It pops on just like that. I uh, actually don't remember how much he was. I want to say 225-ish. And he's awesome. He's a really centerpiece to my collection back here. He stands right in the middle. Um, I love it. Probably picking up another cap from Infinity War 2. Oh, yeah. You guys got anything else you want to throw our way? Comment, subscribe, like our videos, share them, blast them all over the place. Yep. Uh, We're going to keep these reviews coming. Try to get as many Marvel things as we can in this month. Yeah, so just bear with us. And uh, we look forward to the next review. See you in the next one.